Well, hello everyone and welcome to another episode here on the MI Gardener channel. I was just doing some work in the garden today and I wanted to get this out to you all because I get asked so frequently. Probably one of the most common questions that we get on the channel about pest control and organic methods is, Luke, how do I get rid of uh, some of the beetles in my garden, whether it's Japanese beetles, whether or not it's flea beetles, not the same thing as fleas, but this method I will show you will also get rid of fleas, but flea beetles, uh, they're the things that chew the little, like it looks like someone took a shotgun with birdshot and just popped your plants with it. Uh, so those are what's the culprit of, of those holes is flea beetles, whether or not it is uh, ants, whether or not it is uh, aphids. Uh, this is a super, super easy method to using in your garden. I wanna show you using diatomaceous earth. Now di what diatomaceous earth is, is basically ground up seashells. They take ancient seashell beds and they grind it up into a powder, a super fine powder. So it's it's basically uh, just, it's organic. I mean, it comes from the ocean. Um, and what it does is it irritates the skin of hard shelled bugs, a lot of your beetles and your fleas and stuff like that. Now it is suggested to get a dust applicator. Uh, this is just a, uh, dust applicator that we have here. And believe it or not, you can actually pick this up at migarder.com. We made it super affordable for you all. And we actually bundled it together to save you guys time and money from trying to find these. But use what you want and get what you want. Um, I just uh, give you options. If you want to support the show, feel free to. But if not, uh, go anyplace else. I know Lowe's and Home Depot also has them. So give any options because I want you all to use this method. It's very effective. And uh, and it's, it's really not that expensive either because a little bit goes a very long way. What you wanna do is you want to dust your plants. So we have a duster here and we've got our diatomaceous earth. The diatomaceous earth, just like I said, agitates them. It gets under their skin and it gets in their skin and they will basically uh, force themselves to shed and molt and they will die within 24 hours, believe it or not. So effective and it's organic. So gotta get a thumbs up for that. So I'm gonna load this bottle up here. It is suggested to have a, a, a mask, a dust mask, uh, but I forgot mine at home. So I'm just gonna do mine downwind. I'm gonna do mine upwind so it blows downwind. I think I, yeah, that's it. Um, <laughs> next, back, next best option. So uh, I'm just gonna load this up here and we're, gonna, we're just gonna pour some in here. You don't need a whole lot, but um, you do need you do need about a quarter full to get a good dust. All right, now that we've got it full, we're just going to put the cap back on. There is a, a cap. It's, a, uh, it's a, a seal that they put on here um, so that nothing gets inside the bottle. And we're simply going to dust the plant. So check this out. So see, as you can see, we are starting to get some of those, some of those bullet holes in some of the leaves. And that's why I wanted to do this video now. So we could get control of it. See those little bullet holes right there. So all we're gonna do is we're just gonna take our, our dust applicator and you're simply going to squeeze it uh, by the plant. So we're just gonna tip it down. So you're simply gonna tip it down and give it a shake while you squeeze. Get a little more air in there. And you wanna liberally dust your plants. It's important to dust the plants pretty thick because any bugs that are on it, you want it to coat the bugs. Also, what this is going to do is it's going to set on the leaves. Don't worry, your plants are gonna be fine. They're not gonna, they're not gonna die. See, they're, the next time it rains, it's just gonna wash it off. So it's good to do this when it's dry out. So there you go, super simple, super effective way to get rid of the beetles. The, it just seems like my potatoes get overtaken so much by the flea beetles. And uh, another thing that I thought this would be very good for is the Colorado potato beetle. Some people just get it. We've never really had a bad problems with the Colorado potato beetle, but I'm guessing if you're, if you're in Colorado, you probably have some pretty big problems with that. So uh, I'm just kidding. I mean, it's, it's pretty, pretty regional. Uh, it's, it's pretty national. Um, so it's a problem that a lot of people have, and it would also be solved by using diatomaceous earth. So it looks like we had a, a pretty good snow on the plants, but you can tell your neighbors that uh, it's an organic, effective method and, uh, and spread the word about it because I don't think enough people use it. For the amount of people that ask about what is it, 
Uh, I just, I really want to get some good information out there about it and kind of what it is and how to use it. And you don't have to use it on just potatoes. We've used it on peppers. We've used it on our tomatoes in the past. We don't get as many problems on those plants as we do our potatoes. Cause I think they, I think they go for the potatoes first. Uh, so now, now we might have to start applying it to the tomatoes and peppers once we've killed them on, on here. But again, very effective, very, very easy to use. And uh, with the applicator, it just makes it so simple. So go check it out if you want, mygardener.com. If not, uh, go, go find it at Lowe's or Home Depot, places like that, I'm pretty sure have it. And, uh, and get your plants cured because uh, when they're stressed from pests, they're not going to produce as well because they're sending energy into trying to fight the pests rather than producing potatoes or tomatoes or peppers. So give it a shot, hopefully you will. And I'll talk to you all later. This is Luke from the My Gardener channel. See ya, bye.